Hi. Good afternoon and welcome to today's virtual product review. Um, my name is Julie Weber and I'm the Vice President of Education and Training at the Monitoring Association. Thank you all for joining us today. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to confirm our audio. May I ask anyone um, on the call uh, to raise your hand in the chat area uh, to let us know that you can hear us. And while we're doing that, um, I want to give you a quick tour of where to ask the Q&A uh, section here on the SMD control panel. Uh, we're not going to be using the chat feature today, but the question section. So we've saved some time um, at the end of the VPR to hold a Q&A session. Um, we're going to record this presentation, so you'll receive a link to, to it uh, in the next few days. And now uh, we'd like to welcome TMA member company, Communication Service Solutions, or CSS as we know them, who will explain the features and benefits of the Aonix system. Uh, this system can be used as a channel bank or a phone system, both managing alarm communications and two-way PERS and MPERS. Uh, you can also use Aonix in the cloud or in your building. To tell us more, we are pleased to introduce CSS founder and president David Crawford. Uh, before creating his company in 2006, David held a variety of roles in the security industry dating back to 1981. In 2006, David took the knowledge he'd amassed and started CSS. As he simply explains, the vision of CSS is to join the dots in the monitoring center to provide a product with features and benefits not found in any other solution. David and CSS are now into their 13th year and the company has established itself as the go-to company for telephony and phone system needs, call recording and contact center requirements, and most of all, a company with personnel who know the security monitoring center. Now let's begin our review. David, it's all yours. Thank you, Julie. Good afternoon, everybody. Hopefully everybody can hear me okay. And uh, I'd like to say thank you for attending. Uh, CSS, CSS services, uh, I'll take approximately about 15 minutes for a, an explanation. So if we quickly look at CSS, even though Julie did such a tremendous introduction, um, we, we provide a telephony phone system solution to the industry. Uh, we can replace the Atlas 550 channel banks, call recording, contact center uh, solutions. Uh, we actually sell the system five receiver because a lot of our clients want a one-stop shop. Uh, so they want to come to us for everything infrastructure wise and that includes the system fives as well. We can provide financial services and obviously we provide 24-7, 365 support and service because that's the industry that we are in. Uh, you never turn your lights off, we never turn them off either. So, um, again, uh, we provide a unique feature set uh, designed into our phone system, which is called Aonix. Uh, and uh, we'll be going through those uh, feature or the feature sets um, relevant to it. Uh, this, this screen, basically, you can look at this again in the future when you download the uh, presentation, and it will just give you a recap uh, of uh, what we uh, can provide. So if we look at the Aonix telephony uh, system, um, basically, again, as Julie indicated, we like to look at it from a perspective of joining the dots in the central station. So when we started CSS uh, 13 years ago, the idea was to come up with a total solution, or as close to total as possible, where we manage the PRI circuit. We manage and provide the analog to the receivers. We have an interface to all the major automation software systems. Uh, we provide call recording solution, which has an interface to all the major automation software systems as well. So. Uh, a 
and obviously being a phone system with a central core of communication within the organization. So that's what we achieved 13 years ago. Since then, we've been uh, updating it and modernizing it and providing more fluid redundancy. Uh, but the idea was always to be the central core within the central station uh, for managing all communication, not just alarm panels, not just voice, but all communication together. Again, this is basically echoing what I just said. Uh, we, we, in essence, touch everything, the receivers, we're a phone system, the PRI circuits, we can manage SIP trunks. Uh, we interface to the operator, we interface to the end user when the operator makes a phone call, of course, and we interface to all the automation software package as well. So, uh, let's look at one very, very important feature. This is the most important feature relevant, that this is what takes Aonix from being a phone system to being a, a solution provider. Without the PRI to analog conversion process, we'd just be a phone system. Um, anybody can be a phone system in a sense, uh, but we want it to be that, again, that central core within the, uh, uh, within the central station. Uh, and the first feature we had engineered into the platform was the PRI to analog conversion process. Once you've achieved that, it opens up a lot more um, parallel features, if I can use that term. Um, it, 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 it sets your product aside from, from any other form system because of this feature. And my understanding and knowledge of the industry is, um, if I could just say it this way, Shortel doesn't do it, Mitel doesn't do it, NEC doesn't do it, Cisco doesn't do it. The only other product I'm aware of that can do the PRI to analog conversion is the Avaya platform. Uh, and it's a large, big, expensive Avaya platform that does it. So, um, so there we are, the PRI to analog conversion process. When we look at Aonix overall, uh, what we wanted to achieve and what we do have is a virtual platform. Um, Aonix is a software phone system telephony package. It's just software. It can reside within a server or servers for redundancy. It can reside within VMware or Hyper-V. Um, and it uh, basically doesn't have any geographic locations. Uh, we'll cover that in a, in a screen coming up, but uh, from a perspective of redundancy, um, Aonix is a N plus one um, environment. Um, we, we look at Aonix and we describe it this way. We say Aonix A, B, C, D, E, F, etc., because it can have multiple Aonix applications running simultaneously and in real time. And the, the, the structure or architecture is not primary and redundant. It's active, 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 active. So all Aonix applications, and the screen that we're looking at with the example of basically showing four servers, which would be Aonix A, B, C, and D, those four applications work in a clustered simultaneous group. So any one of them can manage a call, any one of them can manage process. If one of those servers uh, was to fail for a few seconds, um, the other Aonix take over the process that that Aonix application was managing. So a call is not dropped and a call is not lost. Again, active, 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 and that cluster can actually be bigger if you wish for it to do so. How do we manage PRI circuits, uh, and how do we manage analog? Uh, we do so with what we refer to as gateways. Uh, so here in this screen, we're looking at four PRI gateways. Um, that could be two PRI gateways, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as many as required by the organization. The analog gateways, uh, each one of the gateways provides 
24 analog circuits uh, for the receivers as an example. Um, again, from the UL perspective, you'd want to look at at least two PRI gateways and two analog gateways. But obviously, depending on your organizational size, you may require three PRI gateways, five, six, seven, it, entirely up to you, your needs and requirements. Analog, again, depending on how many analog circuits you want to go into the receivers or other analog devices that you need to connect to within the central station, within the offices. Um, here, basically, uh, is the um, interface capabilities to the automation software. And um, it's referred to as CFTA interface. All the automation software companies um, interface to Aonix. And I'll just quickly run down that list. Um, Manitou, Stages, Sims, uh, SGS, MAS, MicroKey, micro Millennium, um, um, whichever, um, Sentinel out of the UK, uh, and Oral9 as well. So these are all the automation software companies that uh, have the CFTA interface to Aonix. <clears throat> um, I'm going to skip over this screen because, well, I will quickly indicate um, once you've got the once you've got the PRI to analog conversion process in place, obviously the Aonix is then managing all calls, uh, and those calls can be standard alarm panel calls, fire panel calls, of course. Um, alarm panel calls with two-way voice, PERS calls, or MPERS calls. Uh, all of this can be managed by Aonix. Now, because Aonix is a phone system as well, or a telephony channel bank interface, um, the calls can also be blended with voice calls. So if you have two or three PRI circuits, you don't have to designate a PRI circuit specifically for voice or specifically for alarm panel communication. The alarm panel communication, no matter what it is, and the voice calls can be blended across all the PRI circuits that you have. By doing so, obviously providing you with redundancy because if you've got two PRI circuits and one's used for voice and one's used for alarm panel communication, you're paying for two PRI circuits, but you don't have any redundancy. With the Aonix system, those two PRI circuits can be used for voice and alarm panel communication, hence giving you the uh, redundancy because of two PRI circuits. Here is a simple replacement for the um, ADTRAN Atlas 550 channel bank. Um, so looking at it from a perspective of redundancy, of course, which is what UL is most certainly looking at now and will continue with UL827, what we're showing here is two PRI gateways, uh, two, anal sorry, two analog gateways, and in between there, two Aonix applications. Again, the Aonix applications, two of them for redundancy, active-active, can reside on two separate servers, all within VMware or within Hyper-V. So that middle portion showing the Aonix applications could be your virtual environment. So here, just displaying the fact that nothing is is, is hard-coded in a sense, meaning that it call, if you've got your PRI circuits set correctly, any call can be received on any PRI circuit, which can be managed by any PRI gateway, which can be managed by either or any Aonix application, and the output to the receivers can be from any analog gateway. So what we're showing here and providing is is fluid redundancy, uh, which is obviously important, and if I can use the term, automatic redundancy. Um, for a larger central station, uh, there is no geographic location, uh, sorry, geographic limitation. Uh, we do have um, clients 
that have multiple locations. Uh, and when they do, uh, we can have redundancy within each location and redundancy across all the locations. So going back to my previous explanation, Aonix can be Aonix A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, which is what I'm displaying in this, this uh, um, slide. Um, also VMware, Hyper-V or in the cloud. Uh, eight, up to eight Aonix in a, in, a, in a single image cluster. Um, when it says 5,000 endpoints per server, that means actually phone sets or, or analog endpoints. That doesn't mean anything relevant to accounts. Um, we have uh, clients. Uh, we've got clients that have a million accounts, and we've got clients that have 50,000 accounts, and we've got clients everywhere in between. Um, generally speaking, unless you're a multiple, multiple location organization, uh, you're probably going to run off like Aonix A and B, and that will give you hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of phone sets and, you know, hundreds of thousands of accounts to manage. So a lot of capability within Aonix. There's, there's really no limitation to it. Um, this is just displaying some of the phone options uh, to you, hard phones, soft phones, video phones, etc. cetera. Um, this is showing some of the uh, call management. Uh, we have a desktop management, visual management tool uh, that you can do peer-to-peer -peer video on. Uh, we have reporting uh, for uh, ACD statistics, uh, live reporting or historical reporting. We have uh, uh, call accounting reporting, uh, live and historical as well. So all the reporting you'd want. Uh, within this uh, ACC is the contact center solution as well. So you can manage your operators within a contact center type of profile environment um, where they log in, they're delivered calls appropriately, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and uh, additional IVR call management. That concludes my presentation, and I hope I brought it up to about 15 minutes from when I started. So um, I'll throw it open to any uh, questions, uh, please. Okay, David, thank you so much. That was a lot of great information, and uh, we did send out a notice to get folks to submit their questions as they come in. Um, I do have one that's come in. Can Aonix reside in a virtual server? Yes, um, as indicated in the presentation, Aonix is a Linux-based software application. Uh, so it can reside within a VMware or Hyper-V virtual server environment. So if if a, uh, a prospective client has a VMware or Hyper-V residing within their organization, Aonix can work within that environment and additional servers are not required. Okay, thank you, David. All right, um, a question. How long does the conversion from an Atlas 550 to Aonix take? Um, a good question. The, com the conversion process is pretty straightforward in respect to uh, what would happen is Aonix would be installed parallel to the Atlas 550. Uh, it would obviously be thoroughly tested. It would be pre-programmed uh, and at the appropriate time. Uh, the PRI circuit is literally unplugged from the Atlas 550. Um, Prior to that, I should say the analog circuits from the Aonix are obviously uh, configured and connected relevant to um, that amount of work. But at the appropriate time, the PRI circuit is unplugged from the Atlas 550, plugged into the uh, PRI gateway, and that's it. You've got an operating system. So uh, if you, if if the question is related to if there's any downtime, uh, 
downtime is the amount of time it takes you to unplug a PRI circuit and plug it into uh, uh, into the PRI gateway, or uh, you know, have it preset and just switch the PRIs across. So, um, from a perspective of uh, implementation, um, once we have a, the proposal signed uh, and, and documentation relevant to uh, phone numbers, et cetera, et cetera, um, generally speaking, probably uh, that process probably takes something in the area of about four weeks, only simply because um, of, of, of just getting the required information, um, pre-programming Aonix, uh, and getting the Aonix to your physical location. Um, so I'd give it probably about four weeks lead time to achieve it. Okay, thank you, David. Um, another question, what's needed to turn a channel bank into a phone system? Mm. Well, once Aonix is, Aonix is installed as a channel bank and it's being used as a channel bank, any time thereafter, quite simply, Aonix would have uh, user licenses added to it. It would have uh, physical phone sets added to it, um, voicemail as an example. Uh, all of the, the physical phone sets are obviously physical desktop phone sets unless uh, the, 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 uh, the, the opportunity wants to go with soft phones. Uh, but if we talk hard phones on the desks, uh, that's the equipment necessary. Voicemail is software, user licenses is software, uh, the contact center solution is software. Um, basically, it's just licensing the Aonix to become a phone system from a channel bank. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, we've got one question coming. Can the Aonix channel bank work with my existing phone system? So this is a follow-up to the previous question. Yeah, yeah, good question and interesting question. The answer is yes, it can. You could use Aonix as a channel bank solution, and Aonix would be the front end, let's call it management, the call management. So Aonix would front end and call manage, and then uh, it would interface to the existing phone system as an example via a PRI to PRI connection or SIP to SIP connection. So there would be an interface connection between the Aonix channel bank and the existing phone system. So if this was a two-way call to be processed, Aonix would manage the two-way process and then hand the call over to the existing phone system on this interconnection, the PRI or SIP interconnection. If it was an inbound voice call, uh, it would simply, Aonix would recognize that and simply channel it directly to uh, the phone system that's being used. So Aonix can be added not only as a channel bank, but an enhancement, obviously, to the uh, central station slash office environment because um, now you can maximize on your PRI circuits for redundancy by utilizing Aonix, but for the time being, reside on your existing phone system. And then once you want to move off your existing phone system onto Aonix, because please keep in mind, Aonix has the interface to all the major automation software systems, and you want to take advantage of all their benefits and features that, that they have uh, developed uh, uh, with Aonix. Okay, well, great. That is a lot of um, interesting information that I think um, there ought to be more questions about. I want to encourage everyone who is on the call today and who may be listening in the future, if you do have additional questions, please let us know uh, your interest. There's going to be a follow-up evaluation if you would like more information from David, please let us know. Uh, again, if you are listening to this recording in the future, you can visit CSS online at www.
comservicesolutions.com. So don't forget to complete the very short survey at the end of this webinar to let us know. Um, your feedback is also very important to us. Uh, we do have additional events like this one coming up this month. So please visit TMA's website at tma.us to learn more and register to attend. Uh, thank you, David, so much for your time, and thank you, everyone, um, on the virtual product review today um, for attending. We really appreciate your time. Thanks, and have a great afternoon. This concludes thank our you, product. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. Thank